Okay folks, I'm back. What you're looking at here is a double rifle case. This one is an SKB, it's an I-Series. And this is the one I took with me hunting for vehicle transportation. And I'll give you a very quick overview. I know you want to see the guns. I'm going to open it up and I'll give you some close-up of the two rifles that I took with me. But this one has a handle in the front here. It also has a pressure valve. And it has four reinforced padlock areas here for securing locks on there for air transportation. It has another handle up top here to be used with the wheels. The wheels are at the bottom. And then it has four latches for closing the case. Now this case here is preformed to hold two rifles so there's no cutting involved. And I'll just give you a quick shot so you can get a view of it. That's what it looks like. Let me see if I can bring in a little bit closer. Just pardon the bump, please. And there you go. And that's what the inside looks like. So what I'll do is, let me get the rifles out. I'll get them up on the counter. I'll bring in nice and close so you can check them out. And I'll be with you shortly. Okay folks, I have one of the rifles up on the sled here and this is the one that the outfitter kit is going to be using and what you're looking at is a Browning X-Bolt Micro Midas Hunter it's a very nice rifle, it's not too heavy and it is chambered in a 243 so it's not going to kick like a mule I already sighted it in I just took it to the range to do a little bit of confirmation and ran a box of rounds through it but it has 60 degree throw on the bolt, which is nice to give you extra room up here if you're wearing gloves. 20 inch barrel, 6.1 pounds, feather trigger set at three and a half at the factory. The safety's up here on the tang, so it's easy to disengage and to engage. It has what's called an inflex recoil pad to reduce the recoil of the gun and this one is outfitted with a low pulled VX3 2 to 8 power that's what I have it paired with it has a polymer magazine that's removable and it needs to be removed to be loaded that's one of the cons, one of the things people don't like that it can't be stack loaded from the chamber and this is what it looks like loaded up I have a bunch of them and there you go and the reason it's an issue is because let me just show you you have to start loading from up here as opposed to just pushing down and of course that would be very difficult to do with the open chamber now you could put one into the chamber quickly close the chamber and, and squeeze off around if you had to do that to dispatch an animal that was perhaps wounded and you wanted to finish it off that would work I mean it wouldn't be an issue but as far as fully loading the magazine properly they need to be removed that's not really a big deal we're only going after white tail not dangerous game so once again this is the X-Bolt Micro Midas Hunter it's a youth rifle or for someone with a smaller frame perhaps a female it it is very accurate let me show you what I did at the range and as you can see right there it's right on, or at least accurate enough. So, what I'll do is I'm going to take this rifle down and I'll get my rifle and I'll show you that one as well. So, stand by, please. Okay, folks, I'm back and I have my rifle now on the counter there. And what you're looking at there is a real beauty that's a Browning X Bolt White Gold Medallion. I wanted to share this rifle with you. And this uh, rifle here is chambered in 270. It has a 22 inch barrel with a recessed crown on it. It has a removable polymer magazine. Very easy to take out. There you go. That rides in there. I have two spare magazines and I keep federal premium ammunition in there. This is a lead free copper tip bullet. 
130 grain. It has engravings on the receiver. I have the matching browning sling. I also have the matching rings to go with the rifle with the browning logo. I have it paired with a Swarovski Z3 412 to 50 powered scope. Very nice glass on there. And it has a tank safety. This is the bolt release right here, this button. And what you're looking at as far as a finish there, that's a Monte Carlo stock with a grade 4 or 5 wood. The rifle basically shoots as good as it looks. A lot of my friends ask me how can I go out and take it into the elements and it's easy. That finish on there is basically impervious to the rain, the snow, and the sleet. The rain will just bead and run right off. It has a stainless steel barrel and receiver. It has a polymer magazine. There's very little to corrode on the rifle. The scope is impervious to the elements and it's very easy to maintain this rifle very low maintenance clean it as I normally clean a rifle wipe it down and it's ready to go again so once again this is an X-Bolt white gold medallion let me see if I can bring in closer and show you those engravings so you can check out the receiver and they did a very nice job on this rifle but it's not a rifle you have to baby it shoots it's very accurate, it's balanced, and it's fun to shoot. And as you can see right there, white gold medallion. You can see some of the engravings on the receiver. There is the bolt release right there. You can see the matching rings for the scope. And they did a very, very nice job on this. I'll show you the stock in a second so you can check out the quality of the wood. Has a very nice cheek plate on it. There is the checkering. It does have rosewood underneath the pistol grip. And there's also a browning logo on the bottom side of the trigger guard. There's that wood I was talking about. A lot of swirls, a lot of patterns going on there. And it almost looks like a burl. And there you go. It also has the Inflex recoil pad. This rifle really doesn't kick a lot but with that recoil reduction system you barely feel it especially when you're wearing a heavy coat or a parka so what I'll do is let me back out of here and I'll show you the bolt operation and I'll spin it around for you so you can get a look at it okay let me grab this rifle, show you the other side here. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera. And there you go. And this rifle, or excuse me, this bolt is butter smooth. One hand, no problem. Two fingers, actually. Very, very nice job they did on the machining. There is that tank safety. And with this 60 degree throw, if you're wearing gloves, you can see I have room, sufficient room, and I'm not banging into the scope. But it's a beautiful rifle, point and shoot. This is the rosewood tip here with a little bit of a detailed line right there in white just to offset it. Sets off the forehand very nicely. And here's that stock. And like I said, the rain just comes right off this thing. It's not a big deal. I take it out in the snow all the time. 
I really don't worry about it. When I get it home, I wipe it, wipe it down. It's got a couple dings, a couple little nicks here, but that's just normal wear. And let me see if I can show you that logo. There we go, on the trigger guard. And right here is how you remove the magazine. You just touch it and it comes right out. So, very nice rifle, cycles very nicely, and it's excellent point and shoot. And like I said, it basically shoots as good as it looks. So, I wanted to share this beauty with you. I hope everyone's enjoying their holidays. And I hope you can find a nice rifle under your Christmas tree. Thanks for tuning in, and see you all next time.